Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular VG tutorial, I will show you how to upload files to FTP server using script task in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, can you make a video how to upload file local to FTP using script task? So let's jump to the demo. I got an FTP server 192.168.1.34 and we can access this particular FTP server using Internet Explorer by typing ftp colon forward slash forward slash and then IP address of the machine and if I refresh this particular URL so at the moment I got three folders at this particular FTP server customer folder export folder and the product folder and there are no files at the root directory of the FTP server so first I want to upload one of the file company.csv file from d files location to the root directory of the FTP server. In case if you don't have the FTP server on your machine then you can create the FTP server very easily by watching this video like how do I set up an FTP server on Windows 10 machine. I have shown you how to set up the FTP server freely on the Windows 10 machine and maybe I can share the link of this particular video in the description of the video so that you can configure the FTP server. Now let's continue with the code like how we can upload a file and I have already written some code and this is just four line of code which can actually upload a file from local machine to the FTP server. So these two lines of code this is related to logging that we have declared a log folder here so in case if our code fails so that it can actually create a error log underscore current date time dot log file and it can write the error description to the log file and this is the actual code which is actually doing the work for the upload thing so what we are doing we have created an instance of the web client and then we have set up the credentials so this is the FTP username and this is password so this is the URL of the FTP server and I'm uploading the company.csv file and if you see this method client.upload file so this is the URL and this is the local path of the company.csv file that I'm uploading. So this is just four lines of code and right now you can see we don't have the company.csv file at the root directory and suppose if I execute this particular code this is C console app and I will share this code with you so you can download the code in the description of the video. So if I click on step over so I'm just debugging this code so if I continue this one so you can see that now I'm just going to execute the upload file so this will upload the file to the FTP server so I can click on continue so the code ran fine and if I open the FTP server and if I refresh this particular URL so you can see that a company.csv file has been uploaded to the FTP server so this is pretty straightforward and you can call this particular code from an SSIS package as well in the script task and now what I will do I will actually upload multiple files using the SSIS package maybe I can use a for each loop container and maybe I can upload multiple five, maybe four or five CSV file to the FTP server into the same location or maybe if you want to upload it to a particular folder then you can also do that. So suppose if you want to upload the files to the uh, like customer folder. So in the customer folder right now I have only one file customer underscore 2022 dot zip but if I want to upload more files at this particular location then I can do that. So let me just do that. So I will create an SSIS package with this name 100 upload files to FTP server using script task. So I can open the visual studio from here and I can click on this icon click new create a new project click integration services project click next I can paste the name and I can select this one real time scenarios click create so this will create an empty SSIS project for me so the blank SSIS package has been created and now because I will look through multiple files so what I can do I can just prepare few files here so maybe I can copy some of the files from this location uh, drug company and yeah so these are the files six files so I can paste the files here so right now we got seven files at this location d files location okay all right so this is the blank ssis package that we will be using today and because we want to look through multiple files multiple csv files so uh, we can use a for each loop container and we need to create an ssis variable file path so that when the for each loop container will iterate through files 
it can actually get the file path inside an SSIS variable. So let me open the variables pane and let me create an SSIS variable here. So I will call the SSIS variable as file path and the data type of the variable will be a string and I can give an initial value to this particular variable. So maybe I can just provide this value d files company dot csv and I can paste the value here so that's fine. Now I can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and then I can configure the for each loop container here. I can go to the collection and from the enumerator type I will select the for each file enumerator and from the folder I will give the d files location because our files are situated at this particular location and the file type will be csv so I will put star.csv so that it can loop through all the csv files. Now I can click on variable mapping and from the variables I will select the file path SSIS variable. Now this is fine. Now what will happen that when the for each loop container will run it will iterate through all the files one by one and for each iteration the path of the csv file will be assigned to the file path SSIS variable. So I can click on ok and now I can just drag and drop the script task into the for each loop container because script task can be used to upload the files to the FTP server. So I can just configure the script task and from the read only variable I will select the file path SSIS variable and I can click on OK and maybe I can copy the file path SSIS variable name from here and I can click on edit script so that it can open the script editor for me. Alright so the script editor has been opened up and uh, I can just paste the variable name here and I can go back to the C sharp console app and I can copy the code from here and I can paste the code here so this is fine. Now it is saying that it is missing some namespaces so I can hover my mouse on it and show potential fixes using system.net. So this error is gone and now it seems like I need to add system.io so I can add system.io here. So as of now all the errors are gone and we are good to run this particular code but as of now it will upload the company.csv file. But what I want to do is I want to upload all the files inside the D files location okay at this particular location. So what I can do uh, because the file path is contained inside this particular variable so I can declare a local variable file path string file path and I can get the value from the SSIS variable. So I can write dts dot variables and uh, inside the double quotes I can just copy this particular value paste it dot value dot to string. So now whatever value will be inside the file path SSIS variable that value will be inserted to the local variable file path. And now I can declare another variable file name and I will get the file name from the file path. So I can write path dot get file name and then I can just provide the file path here okay and semicolon. So this is perfectly fine. Now what I want to do is I want to replace this value company.csv with the file name okay. Yeah there is one more thing that uh, I want to upload the files to this particular location to the customer folder okay. So I can just copy the customer name from here and uh, I can paste it here. So now what I can do I can replace this company.csv with the file name local variable okay. So I can copy the file name from here and then what I can do I can put double quote plus plus double quote and I can paste the file name here okay. So this is perfectly fine now this is dynamic and now instead of this hard coded value I can simply provide the file path here okay. So I can just replace the this hard coded value with the file path. So this particular code is now dynamic and it can upload all the files from the D files location to the this particular FTP server inside the customer folder okay. So now what I can do I can just close this particular code file exit and I can click on ok. So this will save the code inside the SSIS package and uh, I think now I can execute the SSIS package. So this should upload all the files from D files location to the customer folder. So the process ran fine and if I go back to the FTP server and if I refresh the URL 
so you can see all the files have been uploaded to the ftp server inside the customer folder so this is pretty simple and pretty straightforward that we have uploaded a lot of files from a directory to the ftp folder and i will share all the code that i used in the script task and you can download the code from the link in the description of the video yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much